facing will bear fruit and uh, it will help in creating a better atmosphere on our subcontinent. I do not wish to go into any of the specifics. I once again thank you for uh, being with us and uh, now I leave the floor to you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Minister. It is a, uh, a pleasure to be back here and to have an opportunity again to visit with the Minister of Defense. We have had a number of meetings. They have and the United States, uh, needless to say, uh, very much values its relationship with India from a political, economic, as well as our improving and strengthening military to military relationships. We have had a very good discussion this morning. Uh, earlier today I met with uh, Ambassador Mishra. Uh, later today, th this noon, I'm going to be seeing the Minister of External Affairs, uh, Mr. Singh and uh, Mr. Advani, and then still later the Prime Minister. Um, uh, the President of the United States and Secretary Powell are, needless to say, uh, deeply interested in the relationship with this country and um, are anxious to see the tension that exists between India and Pakistan um, improved. Uh, we, we feel that there are steps being taken which are constructive and we, I must say that the, the leadership here in India has uh, demonstrated their concern and their interest in seeing that things are resolved in a in a an appropriate way so i'm very pleased to be able to be here and have a chance to visit and discuss some specifics but also in uh, uh, every bit as important our broader relationships between our two countries thank you very much I am en route to the airplane, so I'll make a few brief comments and then probably answer one or two questions, at which point I'm going to be uh, heading for the airport. First, let me say that we've had some very good meetings here in, in India. We met with Ambassador Mishra and with the Minister of Defense, uh, Mr. Fernandez, and certainly with the Minister of External Affairs and some others, and, and most recently with the Prime Minister. I should say that when I was sworn in as Secretary of Defense for the second time in January of last year, I had to go to Germany, Munich, Germany, for a uh, defense conference. And the first bilateral I had, the first meeting I had with the foreign dignitary was with Ambassador Mishra, who was the Indian representative in Munich at that defense conference. Uh, that happened very simply because of the feeling I have, and President Bush does, and Secretary Powell, that the relationship between the United States and India is an important one. It is one we value. It is one that back in January, or again, it was February 1st or 2nd, uh, we, we made a conscious decision that it was important to strengthen. 
And I must say, in the intervening period between February of 2001 and today, that relationship has uh, matured and strengthened. And uh, certainly, particularly on the military-to-military -military side, we feel that we uh, have fashioned a series of connections and relationships which are beneficial to both of our countries. Uh, with respect to the tensions that exist in the world, particularly here between India and Pakistan, let me simply say this, that um, we recognize the leadership that the Prime Minister has demonstrated during this period. It has been a period that has been tense. It continues to be a tense situation. Uh, we are recognize the fact that India has very recently taken a series of steps that have been um, useful to be sure. For example, resuming overflights, um, indicating the fact that a high commissioner will be named and, and uh, returned to Pakistan, and needless to say, the movement of naval forces to the south. Um, we had discussions on the global war on terrorism and the fact that the United States and India are cooperating in a variety of ways in that connection. Um, and with that, I'll be happy to uh, stop and respond to questions. Bob? Yes. yes. The situation, my situation is I am not a mediator, needless to say. I am a defense minister. I am here uh, because of the importance of this relationship. The short answer to your question is uh, that we discussed a whole range of subjects. And um, I guess the honest answer is yes, that subject did come up, but we came to no conclusions. It is something that needs to be discussed and thought about. It is unclear to me whether or not and to what extent uh, that conceivably could uh, be helpful, and, and no conclusions were, were reached because it's the kind of thing that technical people ought to discuss. Needless to say, the goal is to see that there is not infiltration across the line of control, and uh, that, that uh, there is not, are not terrorist acts. And, and that is uh, our interest, and certainly it is the interest of all of the members of the coalition uh, some 60 plus countries around the world to see that we can uh, not have innocent men, women, and children being killed. Secretary. Yes, sir. I think any time people, innocent men, women, and children are being killed, uh, that that is in effect the definition of terrorism. Last question. The question is, uh, do I believe that Al-Qaeda are operating in Kashmir or influencing events in Kashmir? I have seen evidence and, well, let me rephrase it. I have seen indications that there, in fact, are Al-Qaeda operating in the area that we're talking about near the line of control. I do not have hard evidence of precisely how many, or who, or where. And needless to say, there are an awful lot of people in the world who want to do everything possible to stop Al-Qaeda from planning and executing additional terrorist acts. The we are getting the cooperation of all kinds of countries across the globe in chasing Al-Qaeda and other global terrorist networks and in working with countries to see that their countries do not become havens for terrorists. Specifically, in the case of Al-Qaeda in Pakistan, the Pakistan government has been very cooperative with the United States in helping to locate and, and uh, in, in a number of instances, they have actually captured Al-Qaeda and 
turned them over to us, which has been a very helpful thing. Thank you very much.